Hi and welcome to my playhouse and the creepy basement. So lately I've done a lot of video reviewing a lot of products and some people think that sucks. So this video I actually hope will suck because we're gonna be looking at a vacuum cleaner. <laughs> so, um, and it doesn't suck as long as it should. So um, this is a lithium ion vacuum cleaner and it should suck longer than it's sucking. So let's see if we can make it suck more. Hmm. So actually this vacuum cleaner is pretty popular around here. I have one, an older model than this one. My mom has one with about the same problem. So um, it's not this one, but my neighbor has this one and he um, knows that I do battery videos. So he asked if I would look at this sucking device here. So naturally everything we need to look at is in there and we have 10.8 volt lithium ion. That means that there is three cells in here. So. It's not gonna be a big deal, and oh, we should test it, shouldn't we? Just oh, that's that's not a great test. Was it at the? Okay, I tested it just before I started the video, and it and it ran for like four seconds, and then it stopped. So uh, yeah, it's not doing too great. So we will. Um, my big guess is that there is three cells in here and they have come out of balance and as soon as you start pulling power from it one of the batteries will die very quickly and there is some electronic in here that will shut that down that's my that's my guess let's see if that's right um and this is a i, I said that it's a very popular vacuum cleaner it's very handy because you can do the little one and you can do the big one. It's not that handy this one, but it uh, it should have good suction. So we don't need that thing. Uh, we need to look at that thing. Uh, we should take that apart and see what's inside. I did that on my own one when I fixed that ages ago. I did a video. There is it's out there. So this might be uh, mostly popular here in Europe, I have no idea, but it's an Electrolux and this one is the NV10-8L15 or ZB3102, I have no idea, but it uses the T10 um, Torx to, uh, to unscrew, so, um, and it's, it's, it's a bit difficult to, to f yeah, I got it actually. Ah. I don't think these holes are good for bits. Uh, the bit might go down there, but the thing that turns the bit around might run into a bit of problems. That was a joke. You may laugh. So, there's one up here as well. I have unscrewed that. Let's see if we can figure out how to get in here. Oh, that came out. Oh, all of them came out. Okay. Oh, uh, that came out. Okay, perfect. So, one cell, two cell, three cells. I was right. And a bit dusty. So, I think we just need to measure those cells and check if how they are at. So I can see there is a green wire and a black wire and they go up and a maybe a white wire here. So, yeah, these are 18650 lithium ion cells. They're really normal. And I have a bunch of them if I need any spare parts. Oh, I'm a bit, uh, it looks very messy in here. So I found two screws on this circuit board here, which is probably mostly just the BMS. Hopefully it's just the BMS. Uh, it does do some regulation. Uh, you have two speeds on this 
or multiple speeds on this vacuum cleaner so it might handle that as well but yeah we have some wires going in and we have fun enough we have this battery which goes in here and then we have the two other batteries one goes in there the other one okay that is weird oh that's the ah okay that green wire goes up here so maybe it doesn't do a very good job balancing at all because this looks doesn't look like it balances anything this one is connected to well they might so that one black one up here goes down through this one up to this one and then it goes over to this one and there's a white one that comes from the other side. that might be the balancing then and then there is a no that white one comes oh there's a red one that goes over here so we have the black one there and the red one here and the rest might be balancing then don't need to balance this so okay so we can we can do some measurements then let's get the trusty old fluke out of hiding so we have the minus is there and the plus is there we see 10.7 volts but if we go up here we see 6.6 .6 and we see okay so that's one cell that misses out at 2.9 that's not bad and then if we go between those two do we see another cell and then we could have another cell 3.6 volts and then we have from that one to that one and that is 4.1 so yeah, we definitely have three cells that is horribly balanced. So what will happen is that that three volt cell will, will go beneath three volts something and the vacuum cleaner will cut off. And when you charge it up, it will charge up until probably the first cell hits like 4.2 volts and then it will stop charging because, well, it, does, it can't charge that one anymore. So uh, what we need to do is to charge up uh, all of the batteries to the same level and that should improve this vacuum cleaner quite a bit Being a little bit more I found that the the lowest battery is this one It measures uh, 2.916 so we need to charge that up to um, well, let's just say 4.1 volts We'll take our trusty power supply here and we will Reduce the voltage because 6.2 is way too much 4.1 is, well, that's actually where we need to go. And then we will connect our plus and minus here and put some insulation stuff that is deteriorating. There, we're charging that battery. Uh, we could put some more power into this. Right now it's charging with half an amp. Uh, we don't have time for that. So we'll push it up a little bit. Not gonna push it too much. I was thinking about one amp. Yeah, close enough. So uh, we are pushing about 3.5-ish, 4-ish, 3.4 watts into the battery. And we will be uh, watching the, the voltage of the battery going up here. So uh, as the voltage is going up slowly, that means that the battery is actually pretty good. If it had just peaked up right away, it would tell me that that battery was pretty bad because um, it is supposed to go up slowly when you do it like this. And the reason why it has become low is because it's probably not the best design. So yeah, this should be an easy fix. I can turn that off for now. So we need to see the voltage go up to um, the power supply here. Right now we are running we are running in CC mode. That means that it's the current that is being restricted. When it goes up to 4.1 volts, then the current will uh, stop being restricted because the voltage will then be restricted. It will then maintain 4.1 volts and try and pump in as much 
current as it can where it's right now trying to raise the voltage so it will switch over to CV uh, when we reach that and if I zoom in you can see that better CC is what is running right now and when it reaches 4.1 volts it will change over to CV which means that the voltage will be a constant and then the current this one will go down as it fills up the battery and is not able to put any more on it. So while that is charging up, we might check the, the charging station for the vacuum cleaner here because, well, that could be doing weird stuff. So output voltage is 13.5 volts, 450 milliamps. So it, it doesn't charge it very quickly. There. So let's see what we see here. Is that in view? I think we're good. Yeah, we are seeing, oh, I could mix those around. We're seeing 14.367 volts. That's probably fine. Oh, I'm very happy with my neighbor. So I'm, I'm gonna give this thing a little bit of a clean so that if I manage to fix it, which I'm definitely hoping, I can return a very nice and clean vacuum cleaner to him. And it will look very good. And together with it working really good, it's gonna look very good. And that makes a big difference when, when making sure that your neighbor is very happy. And um, yeah, he's a good neighbor. He looks after my house when I'm not here. So very important to be good friends with the neighbor. So I'm gonna make this look good. And we might go and clean this head as well. It's full of stuff. We need to get in here, so we need to, to get this up. There, we should be able to take this out. I forget how. Oh, open here. Okay, so we need that as well. Ah, there. Yes, that comes out. And I'll get rid of all of the... Ugh. Yikes. So the voltage is almost at 4.1 volts. So it's just a little bit to go. And then when we reach 4.1 volts, as I said, the 1.03 amps will start going down. It would be wonderful if we just hit that. It just did do something. So in the meantime, I have fixed this. It's very nice and clean. And it can go in. Just look at that, that's such a difference. And I've also cleaned in here, taking out all of the crap that I could find. And, well, I, you can continue and continue and continue with stuff like that. But yeah, it's way better than it was. And this locks into place. There's a locking mechanism there. This one goes in there. Up there, and it goes over here. And clickety click. There we are. Cool. It has reached 4.1 volts, but like there is like 4.11, 4.12, 4.13. We don't know where the power supply is actually at. So uh, it will be a little bit longer, and then it will s switch over and go down in average. So this is a very nice high end good power supply well it's not high end it's a very nice power supply and it um, and it costs quite a bit but i would actually be able to fix this uh, using one of these uh, which is just a 18650 charger it can charge two batteries and if i wanted to do that i could take a wire from here and to there and plug it in this is uh, this can do both uh, 100 and 240 volts I could plug that in. I could then put the wires onto this battery and I could charge the batteries up one by one. And then when it was done doing all of them, it would have balanced out this. And these are available for next to nothing, no money whatsoever. This is a bit more expensive. So something like this, have a couple of cables going from where the battery is um, supposed to be and out to a crocodile leads. And and they would go on here just like the power supply once does 
and this little cheap thing would be able to charge each of the batteries up oh we missed it or i missed it so now we will see that it's on constant voltage and the uh, amps will be going down and as the amps goes down so does the watts going into it and yeah we'll just let it run for a bit until right now we are running like 800 milliamps in 880 milliamps into the battery and that's fine it can do that for a bit and then when it's not running in much like 100 milliamps or something then we'll move on to the next battery okay i've changed over this one was the one that we started with now we are charging this one and it has already reached uh 4.1 volts and right now we are pumping in 870 milliamps so yeah another 10 15 minutes on that cell is also good so i've given it time to charge a bit and it's totally full so uh, 0 0.04 watts yeah moving on to the next cell so the last cell is apparently the highest one so it was already at 4.1 volts so it's just gonna take five minutes and we'll be about there okay so the last battery is not drawing in a lot of power anymore so uh, yeah let's measure voltage on the different cells 4.14 4.18 1.15 so it's very close it's within 30 millivolts so yeah let's uh, put this back together there the board is screwed back in this one is that's where that's supposed to be let's see if we can get this back in All right. That is screwed in, and this one is back on, and make it look good, and it doesn't turn on, does it not turn on? Hmm. Okay, if I put it in this one, will it then turn on? Absolutely not. Do we need to charge it first, even though it is already charged? Okay. Let's try and put the charger. Oh, it charges down there and it stopped. So maybe it knows now that it's charged. Hmm, let's see. Good. Hmm. Wonder if I've charged it up too much. If the voltage is too high. Oh. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Took part of the charger with it. Stay there. Okay, so that's back to the drawing board. I have a variable resistor here. I'm gonna drain this battery a little bit. So apparently 4.1 volt is more than it can handle. So now the battery voltage is dropping. It's at 4.14. And the variable resistor will kick it down a notch. So yeah, probably that's the other problem. I did mention that, that these three batteries were so much out of balance that uh, one battery would be too much strained as soon as you started using the vacuum cleaner and as soon as you started charging it the other one would be hitting the ceiling and uh, not being able to charge anymore so apparently 4.1 volts is about where we need to go so we need to go a little bit lower here i need to 
we need to do this a little bit quicker. Time is running out for today, so we'll draw a bit more power there. There, four point. Let's take it down to four point zero eight. Let's let's try that. Okay, changed the digits so uh, we can get it a little bit more precise. We can get it to. 4.08. You can see now with with the extra digit, we can see it actually dropping. There. Let's say that's good for that battery. Let's move to the next one. Next one. This one on this side was also 4.18. So we're gonna drop that. There. Perfect. Next. So this one over here was uh, 4.15, now it's 4.19. It's gonna be very interesting to see if those, well that's gonna be 300 millivolts ish that I have uh, taken the battery pack down. It's gonna be happy with that. So. There we are. And this time I'm not gonna put it back together that much. <sighs> Let's see. It does not run. Oh, but the pump runs. While the pump has been running, I've been trying to discharge it further. And it's still not doing anything. Uh, but when I... Uh, disconnect the the resistor it does jump up again so now this is at 4.1 volts so i don't know if that's too high so i'll continue draining them a little bit and see if if i can manage this or if i just totally killed it okay i discharged it quite a bit and put it in the in the charger over here and now it's charging back up so my hope is that it, uh, when it has charged up there, it might be good because it's not good now. Hmm, this is teasing me quite a bit. So it's the next day and the vacuum cleaner has been charging. I tested it uh, this morning and it's, it's um, working now. It runs for more than four seconds. Apparently, I had charged the batteries too much. We actually only need this part. There. Put this away again. And I'm curious to um, whether or not they are balanced now. Who forgot to turn this off? That's a bad idea. So let's see, we have this battery, we need to, there and there, we get minus, minus 4.02. Oh, and that one and that one, we get 4.02, and that one, that one, we get a little bit more. So, apparently, I charged it up too much. And it did not like that. So if you're gonna do this trick, apparently four volts is where you should aim at. And uh, lesson learned. So let's put this back together. So this is kind of a weird monstrosity. But it's up and running. This looks weird. So, if you have one of these and it only runs for five seconds or half a minute, well, it's probably out of balance, just like this one was. And the batteries, well, one of them was low and one of them was high, and that meant that the electronics in here, which had not done a very good job, to be quite honest, had, uh, well, it shuts it off when it's too low and it shuts it off when it's too high, and therefore you weren't getting anywhere. I don't expect that there's any other way to solve this than to balance out the batteries again. 
and then it will work for some amount of time and then it has to be redone. So uh, yeah, it's a very nice vacuum cleaner. It's very handy and you can just grab it and you can, well, suck something up. And uh, therefore it's very popular. So I'm sure there's lots of people that has this issue. And I hope that some of you guys will be able to fix your uh, vacuum cleaner, the Electrolux ones. I mentioned this charger here and uh, you can still use this but you need to measure the voltage. I would have hoped that you could just put this in and charge the batteries up fully, all of them, and then they would be balanced and that's not the case because then it, they are over voltage and the system will not run it, which is kind of irritating. It's also quite weird that it only has a charge of like 4 volts. I would have expected that something like 4.15 or maybe even closer to 4.2 volts would have been better because that's the maximum charge of the batteries and you kind of want to use all the power like if you're like advertising your vacuum cleaner. That could be quite a few minutes of extra run time if they put some electronic in here that would go all the way. So yeah, if you do fix your vacuum cleaner uh, with help from my videos, I would be extremely happy if you would make a comment down there and tell me that it worked out for you, just because it makes me feel good to be able to help other people. For the regular viewer of my channel, I would like to remind you that um, I am taking August off. So in a month's time or so, uh, there won't be any videos from me for the month of August. It's my first YouTube vacation in four years. So, yeah, um, I'll put some links in the description for the, for tools and stuff. So if, if you need a power supply or, oh, I don't know, no, more to me, I don't know. I'll have some links in the description that might help you on your way to fix your vacuum cleaner. Um, other than that, Thank you very much for watching my videos. Do subscribe to my channel so you can see me again. And have a really nice day. Bye bye.